What's a good word game? I'm gonna switch it up a second and do some Fit Fridays. Occasionally I'm gonna get on here on Friday, show you some of my favorite workout moves. Stuff maybe help you feel better, look better, get more confidence, get more strength, whatever it is. So, to finish up like an arm or shoulder exercise, get a weight that you can do pretty easy. I've got 15 pound dumbbells, um, little girly weights, but anyway. So, what you're gonna do, stand straight up, curl for one, two, three, four, five, six. After you do six, you're gonna to switch to what I call uppercuts. You're gonna come across your body and take your bicep to your lips and down. Bicep slips, down. Bicep slips, down. Four, five, six. So you do six that one. Then you're gonna do hammer curls. Curl your arm inside and touch the outside of your dumbbell to your cheek. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one round, and before you even set them down, just keep on going. It's a good burnout. Back to the first ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uppercuts. One, two, three, four, five. Six hammer curls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to regular curls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uppercuts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hammer curls. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm telling you, at the end of your workout, give that exercise a try. Regular curls, one arm each. Regular one arm curls, uppercuts, and hammer curls. What's gonna do is gonna get the striations in your arms we're looking for. Kinda get, get some vascularity up, get your biceps split, triceps, that kind of thing. So, each Friday, tune in. I always say I wanna be more than just a guitar teacher. I wanna motivate you, make you have a better life whether it's your spiritual side, your physical fitness, um, whatever it is with your job, anything. So guys, leave a comment below. What's your favorite finishing exercise? Let, let me know. Be sure to check out the comments. Hope you guys have a great Friday, great weekend. Let's go. What up guys, Matt here, gotta teach you Luke Bryan. I've been playing this song, picked up my guitar. It's kind of an older song, I guess, these days, but still love this one. I'm gonna use four chords. C, G, D, E minor. Let me scoot up here and show you a close-up of these, how I do these. Um, I got a cable on a second fret and put it in the same key Luke Bryan does. Lock in the two bottom strings and go fourth and fifth. So it's easy to move between that C and G. So it's gonna go. Cottonwood like so in July. So two C's up to two G's. Then it's gonna go up the third string, strum the bottom four. I'm not using a pick. Uh, I'll go over this in another lesson, but this really helped me when I started using my fingernail. So I can pick around uh, and uh, so so two C's. Cottonwood falling like two G's, snow in July, two D's. Sunset Riverside, and then I go back to uh, the E minor, right between the fifth and fourth. Four wheel drive in a circle. So you kind of do two C's, two C's, then they repeat. Go down the window, turn it. Go down the window, turn it on up. Pour a little crown in a Dixie cup. So 
C after you go C, G, D, E minor, do two C's, two C's again, and you repeat it. Girl, you make my speakers go boom, boom, dancing on the tailgate in a full moon, kind of thing makes a man go ooh. Three, four. So, on that chorus, C, G, D, E minor. C, G, four Ds. Mm -hmm. Girl, you're looking so good with what's left of those blue jeans. Drip of honey on the money makers gotta be best buzz I'm ever gonna find. What I like to do on that one is play that high D. So just like I would play at C, except one, two, slide up. Let's try the bottom five. Best buzz I'm ever gonna find Girl, I'm a little drunk on you Two C's and two D's High on summer Then you repeat it back Time I'll give you a couple of pointers here um, That's your chords To spice it up a little bit After you get the timing out of the down strums Work on those hammer-ons So when you're playing that first chord, leave your first finger off and put it down. So whatever string or strings for the E minor that your first finger's playing, it's great to hammer on, spices up a little bit. So you hammer on and then one more strum, so. And sometimes I'll do those string stops. Voice squeaking string stops. How's that? Girl, you make my speakers go boom. So, for example, there, you saw me do a bunch of down ups. I say all the time, strumming's about timing. So, notice how I could do. Girl, you make my speakers go boom. same all the way through two beats and so forth what you want to do is internally keep that timing going but sometimes do a bunch of strums so for example girl you make my speakers go kind of thing. so you can see there the 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 beat the tempo the metronome as I speak it stays the same but your strumming your your can slow down, speed up, a bunch of down ups, some slow, but your timing stays consistent. So it's kind of you gotta have two clocks going on, and overall timing with like beats per chord. But then you can switch up your strumming, kind of left side, right the right side of the brain kind of thing. Girl, you make my speakers go. It's Helps you guys check out countrysongteacher.com and go like go a little bit of a cut go like facebook.com slash country song teacher please subscribe tell me about the channel i'm gonna start doing a lot more like tips um i use my uh, i've got an ipad pro for christmas i'm loving this thing and i'm kind of using it for this video kind of see how it works but seems like the quality looks pretty good and stuff so uh, looks pretty clear in order to do a little better video recordings that kind of stuff so hopefully the audio all that goes well Anyway, please subscribe. Tell me about the channel. Keep jamming. 2016. God bless you.